Good morning! So today is day two of our trip and we're on to the second day of the Animation Celebration Pin event at Epcot. Travis got up at like 5 a.m. this morning to get in line early at uh, the event because he wants to get the first like run through of the pin boards. So I'm taking my car over to Epcot and I'm going to meet Travis at the event. Hey, good morning. I'm headed over to Disney's Animation Celebration Pin event over in Epcot. It's super early in the morning, but I just want to get in line so I can be one of the first people in there. So I just walked into the event hall for the animation celebration. And this is what they have to greet you. It's so cute. There's Mickey and some cool posters. These almost remind me of these Disney books that I had when I was little. They're like old fashioned. I like that. Isn't the Christmas one cute? And the Mickey and Minnie. They're eating pie. <laughs> Guess who I just found? Me! <laughs> Been here since 5 30. Oh my god. So tell me how it was this morning when you first got here. I was about the fifth person in line, but what stunk was is that they split the lines into two. Why? They had ones with all like the zookas and the bags and everything, and one line, and then people just, just, that just had backpacks in, a, in another line. Mm -hmm. But so they didn't give you a hard time about having the zooka? No, everything okay. was fine. This is the zooka. And. It's usually used for like ice skaters, but yeah, it's for pin traders too. Okay. But um, so they split the lines up. So I was like fifth in line, and then by the time I got through with security and everything, I was back to like fifteenth in line. So I lost like oh. ten spots because everyone that just had a backpack was way quicker. Okay. So that was okay, but whatever. I was the first one in one of the boards, so. All right. Okay. So you got in around nine thirty, and what'd you do? Where'd you go? I went straight to the pin boards in the back. All the way on the other side? Yeah, because these ones didn't look too much fun. I just, I just get a feeling for whatever board I want to use. Okay. So sometimes I do the front one, sometimes the middle, but all in all, it really doesn't matter because they refresh the boards. They've been refreshing the board like every 30 minutes this That's year. Good. How was the pin selection on the board when you got lot. up there? Was like like a, a lot of really good ones or just a couple of big ones? No, there's like a lot of limited editions. There was a lot. All right, do you want to show us what you got? Yeah. What was your first pull? And it's two pins per per person, per round, right? round, yeah. Okay. So I got these two for the first pull, so Windows of Evil Hades. That's cool. This is an AP artist proof. Alright. Which is like a which is like a production before the actual run's made. And then this one is a jumbo door from Monsters Inc. This was at the pin event a couple years ago. This is a jumbo pin too, LE three hundred. Cool, can you open it up? Yeah. Oh, cute. Alright, so I got this pin. It's an open edition. AP. Cool. I wish it was limited, but that's okay. This is a Maleficent pin from the Puzzle Series. Okay. And then my last pull, I got another Maleficent pin from the Puzzle Series. Cool. And I got this scar. That one's cool. What's that from? It's from like a Villain's Vault, I think. This one's LE 150, really low. Wow. So that's cool. So you got so, some good stuff. So, so far, so good. They give you these, these little tabs to trade for each day. So you get four, four tabs a day. You turn one in each time you go up to the board. Yep. We're getting a board change right now. We're really excited about it. So I just got through my first pin trading line and we were so lucky we got a board change right in front of us so all the pins on the board were brand new. These are the two pins that I just pulled off the board. 
and Travis pulled this Dr. Facilier, some edition 500, and this Jack Skellington pen. someone that Travis wants to trade with, but as you can see, there are tons of traders in here. Travis just made a trade for this awesome Rescue Rangers pin. Best trade of the weekend right here. <laughs> All the Disney afternoon, man. So got this little gadget on it. Super excited. Thank you, babe. I love it. So I got two Alice in Wonderland pins. This is the first one. It's a limited edition one. 60th anniversary. And I got this one. This is from a box set. We got one of those last year. It's a limited edition 500. We're going to break from the pin event. We're heading over to Sunshine Seasons to get my favorite vegetable wrap. Sunshine Seasons is in the Land Pavilion next to Soren. Um, it's a food court, but they have a couple of really delicious vegan options. They have the vegetable wrap with the tofu feta and black bean hummus, and it comes with potato salad that's vegan. Both are delicious. They also have a vegan korma made with guardian chicken, which I really like that too, but the vegetable wrap is my favorite. This is exciting. The Food and Wine Festival booths are here. Festival start next week. Can't wait. So the Food and Wine Festival starts next week, and we already have our hotel booked. Um, and we are going to a couple of the special foodie events. We're going to the Paris lunch and the lunch at Morocco. I think it's at Spice Road Table. And we'll, of course, show you all the food that we try at both of those events. So we're heading over to Sunshine Seasons right now. It's right over there. We're gonna get some lunch, take a break, then head back to the pin event. So I'm extremely disappointed that Sunshine Seasons does not have the vegan vegetable wrap anymore because it was the best thing there. I don't understand why they would discontinue it, but since I don't have, and well, there was another choice there, but I just don't feel like that today. Oh, we're going over to the Tangerine Cafe. This is the Tangerine Cafe, it's in Morocco. It's right across from Spice Road Table. This is the vegetable platter at Tangerine Cafe. It's a tabbouleh, a lentil salad, marinated olive salad, couscous, scoop of hummus, and there is falafel underneath the pita bread and some greens. Um, just make sure that you ask about the pita bread. Sometimes it's vegan, sometimes it's not. It depends on the distributor that they're using at the time. Good. What is the name of Pocahontas 
Ross's best friend in her tribe. In her tribe. Best thing. Best friend. Nope, that's wrong. Okay, who was next? Who was next? I definitely saw uh, the Ashley. Mouse Ashley. The okay. Ashley. What Ashley. is it? What is the answer? Is it Miko? No, uh-uh. One Naomi. more time. Nakoma, she's got it right. It's over at the box on the far left. Got this Nautilus pen. It's from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Villain bottle. Oh, that's cool. We always got one of the uh, mystery sets that's released. Usually they have a mystery set. Well, they have a welcome pin, a mystery set, and a goodbye. And the drawings of Orange Bird, Figment, Jimmy Cricket, and Mickey. Hmm. All right, cool. They have an artist signing over here. All right, day two of the pin event done in the books. Had a great day, made some really nice trades, um, some good pulls off the board. Yeah. So all in all, it was a great day. What did you think, Stace? It was fun. I was a little tired, though. Yeah. It's a lot of standing. It's a lot line. of standing. Getting up early. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's, but it's all worth it. Yeah, for me. <laughs> Stacey got to sleep in a little bit. Yeah. I was up at the crack of dawn. But, yeah. All right. But it was fun. So. It's a good time. And it's always great spending time together. So. Yeah. Love you. Hey, it's me. <laughs> all right. We're heading hey. out. We're gonna get some pizza over at Blaze. It's one of our favorite pizza places. Not just pizza places, but our favorite places in Disney Springs, downtown Disney. It's always downtown Disney. But they have great pizza there. They have, they're really nice with vegans. They change their gloves. Super, super great, super chill. But anyways, let's go. We just came down to Disney Springs to stop at Blaze Pizza real quick to get a pizza. Um, we each get the high-rise crust with lots of veggies. Let's eat. 